Most folks think Google's just for finding restaurants or doing homework. But hackers, they use it like a weapon. This trick's called Google Dorkin. And with just a few clever searches, you're going to uncover hidden files, login portals, and even live security cameras. Now, quick disclaimer before we dive in, this video is for educational purposes only. Dorkin operators. To use Google like a hacker, you're going to want to learn the operators first. Think of them kind of like cheat codes for search. The first one's the site operator. It searches inside a specific domain. For example, site colon linkedin.com, and then under double quotes type John Smith. That's going to pull up only John Smith sitting inside LinkedIn. Next up, file type. This one's going to find documents. For example, file type colon PDF site colon dot GOV confidential. This can pull up PDFs from government websites containing the word confidential, some of which ain't never meant to be public. Then we got in URL. This searches inside the web address. Try in URL colon login site colon dot edu. That's going to bring up university login portals. And last one here, entitle. This searches page titles. For example, entitle colon index of that's going to expose open file directories folks just forgot to lock down. Now let's get into OSINT. That's open source intelligence. This is where it gets real personal because you can even test it on yourself. Say you want to find somebody's profile on a specific site. You can try something like site colon facebook.com John Doe. Here, Google's only going to show profiles of people named John Doe on Facebook. You don't just got to use names though. You can drop in an email address instead and Google's going to pull up results linked to that email. Now, if you want to capture someone's overall <laughs> identity, Sometimes they've uploaded a resume or CV out there on the internet. You can search like this in title resume or in title CV, file type PDF John Smith. Looking for student leaks? Try this one, site colon dot edu, file type colon XLS, in text colon target email address. That's going to show Gmail addresses sitting inside student files if they're out there on Google's XLS dumps. Sensitive file exposures. Now we're stepping into the juicy part, expose files that were never meant to be public. Hackers love this because folks accidentally upload private data to the internet and Google just goes ahead and indexes it. Let's check a few examples. To find config files with passwords, you can search file type colon env db passwords. Here you can see some database passwords just sitting out in the open. Next, university leaks. Sometimes students or staff upload Excel sheets with login info by mistake. Site colon dot edu, file type colon XLS, in text colon username or in text colon password. In this spreadsheet, you can see usernames, names, and even email addresses just hanging out there. And one of the biggest gold mines, SQL database dumps file type colon SQL site colon dot edu. Here you can see WordPress SQL dumps. To us, it might look like random code, but to a hacker, it's like hitting the jackpot with logins, emails, and sensitive data. Admin panels and password directories. Now let's move into something every hacker is going to love finding. Admin panels and password folders. These are like secret backdoors into websites. But shockingly, a whole lot of them are sitting wide open. Say you want to search for exposed admin directories? Try entitle colon index of forward slash admin. That's going to show you lists of admin folders. If a hacker stumbles on this, it's basically like finding the keys to the front door. And hey, it ain't just admin. You can swap it out and try forward slash password too. Exposed media and IoT devices. Hackers can use dorks to dig up exposed cameras and private media files. For example, let's say somebody sets up a CCTV or IP cam but forgets to lock it down. Hackers want to look for stuff like in URL colon forward slash view dot shtml. That can spill out live, unsecured camera feeds from businesses, parking lots, even straight up people's homes. And it ain't just cams. Folks leave private files dangling in open directories too. Like you can even trip over WhatsApp image backups with entitle colon index of WhatsApp images. That could expose personal pics or media folders that were never meant for the public eye. So yeah, Google Dorkin ain't just about docs and passwords. Sometimes it's straight up exposing people's private lives in ways that are honestly pretty scary. 
Now, if you don't really want to build all these queries yourself, here's the secret sauce, the Google Hacking Database. It's basically a massive online library of dorks that security researchers have been dropping in for years. You can just browse categories like files, containing passwords, vulnerable servers, or sensitive directories. So instead of sitting there cooking up every search on your own, you can hop on GHDB and find thousands of ready-made queries waiting for you. Perfect for learning and testing your own security. And that's Google Dorkin in a nutshell. From operators to OSINT, to exposed files, to live cams, and even the Google hacking database. If you're watching this and you ain't even subscribed to Hacksoft yet, come on, hit that button.